Hey Spices, so in today's video we're going to be cooking ham, but we're going to be cooking it in the Instant Pot so we can save room in our oven for other dishes such as baked macaroni and cheese, pies, and green bean casserole. So let's go spice things up. Alright, so we're going to take this ham and put it in the pot. Now this ham is kind of big, it is 7.97 pounds and this is a 6 quart pot, so I am going to have to cut it a little bit on the top to be able to fit fit it in, but I couldn't find any smaller hams. If you have an eight quart, you'll be fine. Okay, so before I put the ham in, I am actually gonna put these foil slings in. Basically what you do is you take foil and you fold it up. So you're gonna put one in on one side. And this makes it so that you can pull the ham out because the ham gets kind of heavy and it's hard to pull out, so. Um, you just want to make these slings like this, just like this, so they're crisscrossed. All right, so now you can put your ham in, and if you see, I just cut it at the bottom so it could fit. All right, so I actually turned it over so I could close the lid. Now we're going to add the really simple ingredients, which is a half a cup of brown sugar. and then a half a cup of maple syrup. All right, now for the liquid slash tangy, we are going to add one can of sliced pineapples. Make sure you put the juice from the pineapples in here. That is your liquid that you need for your Instant Pot. Okay, so I'm gonna take the sliced pineapples and just fit them in on the sides, because as you remember, this ham is pretty big. If you have plenty of room, you know, put it wherever. Pour the juice over. Okay, so now you'll just take your foil and just put it like this in there. All right, time to put the lid on and turn it to ceiling. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my Instant Pot on to manual and I'm gonna be cooking mine for 15 minutes and then I'll let it naturally release for 10 minutes. As you may know, almost all store-bought hams are actually already cooked, fully cooked, so basically it's a heating process. But if you happen to raise your own pigs or if you are from a different country where yours isn't fully cooked, then you'll wanna cook yours for 90 minutes and then it'll let it naturally release for about 15. But we're gonna cook ours for 15 minutes, let it naturally release for 10, and then we'll be back. Okay, so it's been naturally releasing for 10 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna release the valve. Yep, perfect, there's no steam coming out. All right, moment of truth. Let's check it. Oh, it smells really good. You can actually smell the pineapple. All right, so now all you do to get the ham out is you use the foil on all these sides and lift it out. Make sure all the liquid drips out, and then you can put it down. And it's done. All right, guys, I am super excited to try this ham. We are ready for the holidays. Let's give it a try. Mmm. There is perfect flavor in here, and the wonderful thing about cooking it in the Instant Pot, you don't have to worry about your ham drying out like you do in the oven. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you guys so much. Bye, and see you in the next video.